Hey, Mark and Brady. This past weekend at the movies answered an age-old question. Who would win between Barbie and Dracula? The answer, of course, is Barbie, which opened to number one for its fourth weekend in a row. The new movie, The Last Voyage of Demeter, didn't quite set sail, however. It finished in fifth place. The Demeter, on charter from Romania to London. Shipping private crates, contents unknown. The Last Voyage of the Demeter tells of what happened on a ship that travels from Transylvania and arrives empty in London. Our charter has agreed to pay a bonus for timely arrival in London. In short, Dracula takes out the crew of the ship one by one. The atmosphere of the film is terrific, with enough fog to last several vampire lifetimes. And the creature design of Dracula himself is effective and scary. The acting shines as well, especially with Game of Thrones actor Liam Cunningham. We're a doomed crew, Mr. Clemens. Where the movie falters is its script, which depends on its characters making not very smart decisions against the monster. He is here. Despite that, if you like old-fashioned monster movies or Master and Commander with a twist of horror, you'll still find plenty to enjoy in The Last Voyage of the Demeter. May God have mercy on us all. Also in theaters and opening just outside the top 10 in 11th place is the film Jewels. Oh my. A UFO has crashed in my backyard, has taken out my azaleas and destroyed my birdbath. Ben Kingsley stars as Martin, a man who has an alien land in his backyard. Oh, goodness, what is that? You remember the spaceship? This is the little man who came out of it. He's got to be a secret. Don't tell anybody. What follows is E.T. for senior citizens instead of children, as more people continue to be touched by the alien they named Jules. And the journey is a heartwarming and charming one that is well worth seeing in theaters. We're so thankful for you. Hey, you got me. Newly streaming on Amazon Prime Video is the romantic comedy Red, White, and Royal Blue. What I need is some good old fashioned damage control. Can you show up to what you might say to convince the world that we're actually friends? I love hanging out with this guy. Based on the best selling novel, the film tells the story of the relationship that forms between the president's son and a British prince. So I love of your majesty. It's your royal highness. Oh. And new to rent or buy on video on demand is the documentary Squaring the Circle, the story of hypnosis. What I love about vinyl is the artwork, is the poor man's art collection. Hypnosis created the most important artwork in the world. The film tells the story of the duo behind some of the most iconic album art of all time. The work was the most important thing of all. We were relentless and obsessed. For Live at Four, I'm Will Lober.